Hello all, welcome to another one. Today, Outdoor Experiences is going to roll out a new kind of video series to hopefully fill in some time gaps in the non-trapping season. These videos will still be trapping and outdoor related, but will require a bit more indoor work versus outdoor trap setting and animal skinning. We are hoping to bring you videos related to trapping history, the impact of trapping on the modern world, the products made from furs, and the acquisition, trading, and transportation of furs over the centuries. The first one of these is today's video, where we will be discussing the historical value of furs in North America from the early 1600s through the 1900s. Trapping in North America has been around for hundreds of years. Starting in the early 1500s, the first fur traders were European fishermen in what is now Eastern Canada. Those fishermen traded metal kettles and other items made in Europe. The native people, in return, gave the fishermen furs. The furs were brought back to Europe, which triggered a demand for more and more furs. The prices for these furs in the 1500s are difficult to find, as no companies had been created to harness the profitability of North America. Our first glimpse of fur prices occurs in the early 1600s with the Dutch West India Company. On September 23, 1626, the first supply of pelts to be shipped to the Dutch West India Company headquarters left New Amsterdam, which is the name of New York City when it was controlled by the Dutch. The ship Wappen van Amsterdam, the arms of Amsterdam, was tasked to bring the pelts to the Netherlands. The fur cargo consisted of 7,246 beaver pelts, 853 otter pelts, 48 mink pelts, 36 wildcat pelts, and 34 rat pelts. Because beavers were the true king of pelts, most of the pricing data is restricted to beaver only. In this video, we will only be giving beaver prices. In reality, beaver pelts became the unofficial currency of the New World. Other fur-bearing animals were given a value in relation to made beaver. Even muskets and blankets were given a made beaver value, but we will go more in depth with this concept in a later video. According to the University of Notre Dame, we know that generally the value of a whole winter beaver pelt fluctuated between six and eight guilders in Dutch money. In 1632, one pound sterling, which is British currency, equaled one Dutch guilder. From 1626 to 1632, it is known that the West India Company obtained around 63,000 pelts, which yielded approximately 454,000 guilders, or about 7.2 guilders per pelt. Today, that amount of money would have the purchasing power of 1,208 British pounds, or 1,597 US dollars. It is to be noted that these prices seem astronomically high in comparison to the beaver prices of today. Basically, the success in the new Netherland fur trade with the Indians had resulted in both an excessive beaver supply and even worse excess in the quantity of wampum, small cylindrical beads traditionally made by some North American Indian peoples from shells, strung together and worn as decoration or used as money, causing the purchasing power of these currencies, especially wampum, to plummet. As the value of these commodity monies fell, merchants raised their prices. Thus, there was a money devaluation and a price inflation. The first West India Company collapsed in 1674, and our knowledge of North American fur prices was collected by a different entity, the Hudson Bay Company. It is not clear in initial research, but it seems as though the Hudson Bay Company was maybe able to re rein in the problems that the West India Company had with price inflation. The following prices seem much more reasonable. The Hudson Bay Company was incorporated by English Royal Charter in 1670. The company basically was the government and parts of North America for nearly 200 years until it sold the land it owned, which was the entire Hudson Bay drainage basin, known as Rupert's Land, to Canada in 1869. According to Hudson Bay records, 
From 1713 to 1722, beavers were worth between 5 and 5.5 shillings per pelt. When adjusted for inflation to 2020, that is between 37 and 41 pounds or 49 and 112 US dollars. From 1723 to 1745, beavers were 7 to 9 shillings per pelt. With inflation, that is 51 to 65 pounds or 67 to 181 US dollars. From 1746 to 1763, beavers were 12 shillings per pelt. With inflation, that is 94 pounds or 125 US dollars. The Hudson Bay Company was incredible at keeping records, and the only reason we are able to do this video today is because of that. Insight into the 1800s beaver pelt prices are noted in Slackham's Report on Oregon, 1836 to 1837. The value of a made beaver in the Columbia District in 1837 was 10 shillings, or half of one British pound. The exchange rate with the US dollar was 5 shillings to the dollar, or 1 pound to 4 US dollars. Once the furs reached the wholesale fur markets of New York or London, they were measured in bulk by weight, not by the individual pelt. But we know that a pelt that cost Hudson Bay Company $2 at Fort Vancouver would bring around $7.50 on the wholesale fur market. A Fort Vancouver pelt that cost $2 in the 1800s would cost $48 US dollars today. And a wholesale pelt that cost $7.50 in the 1800s would cost $176 US dollars today. Now the 1900s data is much easier to obtain. For example, the data that I am using is from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. In Wisconsin in the 1930s, a beaver pelt was worth $3. In the 1950s, it was worth $5. 1970s, $10. 1990s, $25. In the 2010s, $20. Now, when adjusted for inflation to 2020, those prices change. In the 1930s, in 2020 dollars, it would be 47 US dollars. In the 1950s would be 53 dollars. The 1970s would be 67 dollars. The 1990s would be 49 dollars. And the 2010s would be 23 dollars. The prices of beaver pelts from the 1700s to now can be almost directly linked to the number of trapped beavers and the number of beavers still available. We will be doing a separate video in regards to those figures. One thing to overall note about the figures I have put forward today is that the prices for beavers have been relatively steady up until the late 1800s when beavers were almost trapped to extinction. For all of the 1900s, the price of beaver pelts have been the lowest ever since the inception of fur trading, and in 2020, the price of beaver pelts is at an absolute bottom price. Thank you for watching this video. Put in the comments if you want to see more videos like this, or if you have any specific questions about this video. The sources I've used will be in the description. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Outdoor Experiences.